All right, it's Thursday. That means we have a vet here to answer your pet questions. Of course, it is Dr. Joe, as always. If you have a problem with your pet, you can give us a call. The number is 460-KJRH. Good morning, Dr. Hi, Joe. Hi, how are you doing? This you brought is, along Dublin this I did morning, bring along huh? Dublin. And, and, and Dublin is, is missing a leg, as everyone can see here. So he's a little three-legged guy. He's actually about 12, 13 weeks old. He's going to be very big. He's, he's really growing quite a bit. In fact, I was going to bring him a week or two ago, and he's probably doubled his size in that time. Um, <laughs> a fast were, grower. Yeah, he's, he's kind of a cross of things. He could be some Dalmatian, but if, and, and the camera may or may not show this, but he's what's called bi-eyed, and he won't stay still. But one is blue and one is brown, and there's a mm -hmm. couple of breeds in particular, huskies and healers, that carry that sometimes. So somewhere in his genetic makeup is, is in there. So, <laughs> so he's a mix of something. He is a mix of something. And whatever he is, he uh, seems like a great dog. He is a great little dog. There's a video of him on our on our website and on the on the Facebook thing, and he just loves to play, and he's playing with a mastiff. <laughs> and uh, it's just, uh, just wonderful to kind of watch. He's a On good the Facebook guy, so. thing, I like that. Yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not the best at that. So. <laughs> What's the number to call to find uh, it? The number to call is 918-794-6688, and that's Animal Aid Adoption Center. And, and we can also on. find them on uh, uh, AnimalAid.org. Absolutely. Or absolutely the Facebook so. thing. Or the Facebook course. thing, that's right. <laughs> All right, it's let's get to the phones. Again. That's right. Uh, <laughs> first up, we have Sarah in Broken Arrow. Good morning, Sarah. Good morning. I have a six-month-old English cocker, uh -huh. and her favorite thing to do the minute we go outside is to sniff out either dead or live earthworms and eat them. Yes. Is that harmful? Uh, no, not really. It's a good protein source, uh, but it can be a dirty protein source. So I'll tell people, you know, you try not to. Dogs, spaniels, uh, you know, way back when uh, were kind of one of the preferred kind of hunting dogs, and, and they're really great little hunters, and they kind of do stuff. Um, that's usually they'll kind of grow out of that as they grow up because then they'll get a little bit more choosy and they'll realize the dog food's better so usually I try to discourage them a little bit and get them something like a little chew bone or something to you know in, instead and sometimes you can even play and bury some of the favorite toys and they'll do that instead but right now the worms are, are, are big and juicy so a lot of them <laughs> like them uh, my Yum. dog you see grasshoppers so it's just who knows but anyway a great topic yeah. here at lunchtime for sure all right next up we have Lisa in Tulsa good morning Lisa Lisa are you there all right, may have lost Lisa. Lost. How about uh, Ray in Tulsa? Ray, are you there? Yeah. Hi. What's your question? Uh, I have a Dotson, 14 uh -huh. years old. Yeah. And she, uh, about two days ago, she had she started yelling and griping at the out in the front yard. Mm hmm and uh, now she can't hardly really walk on her back legs. Yeah, you probably need to go have her seen. Uh, sometimes they will slip a disc or hurt their back a little bit. Uh, initially it's painful, and then after a while people say, well, I didn't think much was wrong because they didn't hurt too much. But as the spinal cord swells and as there's some back pain, sometimes actually it cuts off the pain receptors. So people are kind of fooled into thinking that they're doing okay because it doesn't hurt. But actually the more severe it is, the less pain they have. But nonetheless, uh, you know, at, at, at 14, that's pretty old, and I would certainly bring her in and have her looked at because they can have some back problems. And sometimes it's not real serious. You can get some anti-inflammatories. But remember, 14, she's cruising on towards the centurion age, which, mm -hmm. which is 100 years old. And so I would, I would definitely have her seen. So dachshunds do get a lot of back problems, unfortunately. Sure. So. All right, we're out of time. Okay. But uh, Dr. Landers is here every Thursday to answer your questions. If you missed any of today's segment, you can go to kjrh.com and click on the like lifestyle tab to watch it again, learn about other pets who need homes, and find out more about Heritage Veterinary Hospital. Thank you guys for coming well, in. Thank you so much. <laughs>